guys, I'm so excited because I'm having an entire weekend away and we're gonna be stopping multiple places. We're stopping first in Emerald Lake, which is just outside of Field, BC. And then we're gonna stop at, at Banff, in Banff. Then we're going to Canmore to some special little lakes to film. Um, can you see all my stuff in the back? To film for a company called Floaty Kings, which is gonna be awesome. They sent me two floaties, a huge swan, God, I can't talk, a great big black swan and a great big white swan, and my sister and I are gonna have so much fun filming for Floaty Kings. I honestly can't wait. Um, we're filming at six in the morning, so we gotta get up at like four thirty in the morning. Uh, and it's gonna be cold. It's supposed to rain, and, which is not ideal. I booked this trip like, I don't know how long ago, four weeks ago, and just crossed my fingers that the weather would be good, and it turns out that it's not gonna be. <laughs> which is totally fine, because whatever ends up happening, we're just gonna go with the flow, even if it's raining. I mean, it's just gonna make for some more interesting footage. Just ordered some Tim Hortons. Of course, I'm in Canada, so that's just what I do. Coffees, spicy crispy chicken, and I should probably look at you guys in the camera, not the viewfinder at myself. I feel like I look really uber tanned. I did get a spray tan, so just so you guys know. Oopa Loompa, here we come. Hey guys, so we just pulled up to the natural bridge. I'm just gonna show you guys this because it's so beautiful. This is not where we're gonna be setting up our floaties because we'll die. So I'll just show you guys how beautiful it is and amazing and yeah, you can be part of my adventure. Wow, it looks like I can swim down there. But no, I don't think it's legal. Check it out. I'll take you guys over here. Look at how beautiful. the natural bridge because of this crap and if you're brave enough you can jump it it's actually not that far but you guys that is insane and it comes out on this side over here so we made it to Emerald Lake and I'm just hiking through the bush here because I have to pee and it's gonna be tough because there are people everywhere. All right, wish me luck. Success. I went pee pee in the bush and nobody saw me, I don't think. So we're gonna walk down to the water and assess the situation because I have to see what the dealio is gonna be with inflating my <laughs> massive flamingo floaty and getting in the water. I actually don't even know if that's allowed, but there are a lot of people here. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna look hilarious on the water. Everybody's in like kayaks and canoes, and then there's gonna be me in my bikini and on a pink flamingo. So, just finished blowing this bad boy up. We're gonna head down to the water and test it out. I'm excited. Come along with me. Here, this 
is the beach. I'm kind of shaky because I'm so out of shape. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna swim around. Swam, but there's so many like long here. Give me the camera. I don't know if you can see this, but see, I don't know if you can, but it's just log jam after log jam, and the rocks are so slippery that anyway, you can see my wicked tan line now from my spray tan earlier. <laughs> All right, here we are in beautiful Emerald Lake and I just floated on this thing, this giant rose gold flamingo and it was a wonderful experience. I would highly recommend getting a floaty like this and floating around. Just, you know, instead of canoeing and kayaking, uh, I think that one of these would be excellent. And also, um, it's compact. <laughs> you can deflate it, you can keep it anywhere. It's very light to carry. Um, the only problem is steering, so um, if the wind picks up, you're SOL. If you don't know what SOL means, shit out of luck, because then you're going to be flying halfway across the lake. Literally, because you're on a flamingo. Thank and I also want to thank my patrons. This is from one in particular. You know who you are. Thanks so much. I also got a giant pineapple. Uh, oh, I got a um, popsicle and this guy and lots of other goodies. So thank you so much to my patrons, to my wonder cats, I love you. Um, later on, I'm gonna be in the pool in our hotel and I will inflate the other ones just for fun and float around. Hopefully there's not a thousand children in there screaming because they'll be like, I wanna ride the floaty. And look at it here. It's just out of control, beautiful. Out of control. So Emerald Lake, you guys, actually that building right back there is, can you see it? <laughs> is uh, a gorgeous restaurant. I think it's called Cilantro. And beautiful restaurant. You could actually rent little cabins here. I've stayed here before, it's amazing. So yeah, on to the next location. Woo! So I'm a little bit down, but I don't want to put my jean shorts on just yet. But you guys have seen this bikini before. This is from Cupshe. And I almost fell over. <laughs> the wind's picking up out here. And we're about to head into Banff and maybe do a little bit of shopping uh, and then go from there. There are cave systems up there. And it's been my dream to go and explore the cave. So we just arrived in Banff and we parked at the IGA and now we're going to go do a little bit of shopping and I want you to come along with me. Let's go. So here I am in beautiful Banff, Alberta. Ooh, and we're going to do some shopping. Um, there are some pretty neat shops here. Okay, wait, there, is that better? There's some pretty neat shops here. 
Um, it's quite busy today because it is a weekend, but that's not a big deal for us hardcores. So we just went shopping and I got a couple things, a couple shoes uh, and some Gucci hoop earrings. Oh my God, I almost didn't make it off the escalator. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna go and find a bite to eat. We at the coast. Can you see it? And <laughs> I can't see because these are polarized glasses. And all right, so here you walk in and there's a little fireplace and then this is where you check in and then you go down this way. Oh, and there's Spy Builder. Okay. <laughs> and just follow me down to my room. <laughs> that was totally random. Oh my gosh, did you see that guy? All right, and I'm gonna give you a little tour of my room. I'm in room number 133. Okay, here we go. Here's the bathroom and all of my makeup in my llama makeup bag. And very simple, nothing crazy. Little goodies for my sister and I, which is awesome. Bedroom, it's pretty tiny in here. I think that I might use this backdrop for bikini bug eating, because Sella and I are gonna film that. Don't talk about carbs in front of me, okay? Sorry. I tried to jaywalk, but then we realized that we're not hot enough to stop traffic. <laughs> anyway, it's a gorgeous night here. We're heading to a restaurant called Gaucho's and we're here now, Brazilian barbecue. So we'll give you guys a full review <laughs> once we taste the menu. bar where you can go up and choose all sorts of things and you can get potatoes and all sorts of goodies and this guy came by and gave us a chicken wing. Woo! Yeah. Alright, here's the potatoes. Anyway, see you later. 